So uh, we're trying to bake these vertex colors onto a texture. And right now I'm using a sub subsection of that crib mesh. And these are all just vertex colors. And you can see if something is vertex colors over here, it says color. Um, and I already did the UV map. I generated it with just the default settings inside of UV unwrap here. And it generated this. And so with this many triangles, I'll bake it to a 4K texture. It's all called baked. And it will bake this, it'll bake onto this texture. And um, what we were doing before that wasn't working at all was this checkbox. Um, we should learn how to read because this is actually doing the opposite. This is baking the texture to the vertex colors. So if you check this box, what it will do is bake this black texture onto the points so that all the vertex colors become black. So we don't want that. Um, change the bake mode to vertex colors instead and do bake. And it's that simple. And so now you have this texture, which you can save now by doing save as image. And as long as you make sure there is a material applied to the mesh, before you export it to the game engine, then you, uh, you can just assign this texture in the game engine. Or you can assign it here, you can do, um, set the image here. So that's, if you were to remove vertex colors, it would hopefully still look fine. Yeah, so, now this is just solely the texture and not the, ver not the vertex colors. This also motivates why in um, that previous video is actually setting the emissive surface to be half brightness because you'll notice that the vert the uv map is actually much brighter than the vertex colors so that's why i did that i knew something didn't look right i just couldn't explain it before so uh yeah this is all you have to do